In this video, I'm going to be doing a tablescape. So if you're interested in seeing how it turns out, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello friends, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Here I share decorating and home organization tips. Now if this is your kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of the family. And to my creative family, I want to thank you for your continuing support. Now let's jump into this video. In this video, I'm participating in an open invitation collaboration. And the title of this collaboration is The Excellent Easter Collab. And it is hosted by some wonderful YouTube sisters. Gladys at Gigi Fashion, The Love of Decor. Cinnamon at The Lady Cinnamon. Debbie at Debbie Bubbles. Kay at Creating with Miss Kay. And Shawnee at Shawnee on the Spot. Now, if you're not familiar with any of these ladies' channels, I will have a link to their channels along with the playlist when it becomes available down below in the description. We were asked to decorate a table for Easter. But one catch, we had to include an egg or eggs somewhere in your tablescape. So I hope you enjoy how I place my eggs. start here the placemat was thrifted years ago this is the first time I've ever pulled it out the white charger plate came from the Dollar Tree and then this beautiful bluish color plate that was part of my wedding gifts with the matching saucer and I added this white bowl and the white napkin with the rabbit napkin ring all the plate settings are the same except for the napkin rings each bowl has a different color napkin ring or rabbit. Now this rabbit here is the mint green and then they all have the same uh, wine goblets. My mom gave me those wine goblets as a gift when I first moved to Houston. In the center place, centerpiece, I have my rabbit salt and pepper shaker that I purchased at Pure One years ago. And then I have my beautiful white rabbit with the pink egg. And then my bigger eggs or larger eggs, these were purchased at Hobby Lobby a few years back, and I put them on thrifted candlestick holders. Now each napkin ring, I have a pink one, a yellow one, and a pale blue one, along with the set. And I think I did pretty good with the table. I did it simple. Everything on this table I already had. I purchased no new items for this tablescape. So let me know what you think of my excellent tablescape down below. I would love to read your comments. And don't forget to click on the playlist link down below to watch the other participants' videos. I'm sure you will enjoy them as much as I will. If you want to keep watching more, check out these videos I have listed here in the end screen, and you'll be blessed. 